Hello everyone. Welcome to the video session on topographical surface sheet. I am Anushua. Today I am going to teach you importance of colors and their significance in topographical maps. Have you ever seen a surface sheet in black and white? Definitely no, because colors are most important in a surface sheet. For studying a topographical sheet, one has to be familiar with the colors used in a topo sheet. These colors are called conventional colors as they are accepted all over the world. Interpretation of colors in topographical map. Here we can see some of the color what we need to know to read the topographic map properly. For an example, yellow shows the cultivable land in the surface sheet. Green signifies the forest area. They are also called yellow wash and green wash in the question. That would be asked in your question paper. White signifies the uncultivable land. Uncultivable land means it is rocky. It is not fit for cultivation. You will not find any sign of water and it is simply not possible to carry on to cultivation in such area. The blue signifies the water or water bodies. Brown color is used only for contours and their contour heights. It shows elevation above sea level. The black color, you can see all the dry stems and dry ponds are shown in black. Next color, that is red. The red, as you can see for the, for settlement, we can see that will be red in color. So these all colors we need to know. Now let's see what is the significance of these colors in the topographical map. Which colors are used on topo sheets and what is their significance? We have already learned about the colors used on topographical map in short. Now I will discuss about these colors in detail. There are six major colors in surface sheet which are important in your topography. Firstly, it's black. All names are written in black. Broken ground, river banks, dry stems, survey trees, heights and their numbering like uh, we can say benchmark, relative height, a triangulated height, etc., railway tracks, telephone and telegraph lines will be black in color. I will show you how this conventional sign looks in next video. Now, the next color that is yellow. Yellow color on map signifies cultivated areas. These are agricultural land. Next color the next color that is green color. So green color on your map is wooded or forested areas, all scattered trees, scrubs which are marked in your map in green color. The next color is brown. Brown contour lines are contour and contour lines will be brown in color and stony waste and sand features that is also brown in color. Blue color. All water bodies are in blue especially all the perennial water bodies which is having water throughout the year whether it is a river, tank, well, canal, anything. Next color that is red. Red grid lines in your map are in red color. So grid lines and their numbering, roads, car tracks, settlements, 
huts and other buildings like monument, church, temple, mosque, etc. will be red in color. One important thing you need to remember that you will find white patches in your map that signifies barren land, a land which is not suitable for cultivation. Sometimes you find white patches in river also that signifies barren land which is taken as an island in the river. Hope you all understood the concept of colors and their significance on topographic map. Now let's know how does the color help in finding occupation. How to find occupation of an area or a settlement. Presence of yellow color. If there are large areas colored yellow on the map, it show cultivated lands or agricultural lands. Then the dominant occupation is agriculture. Presence of green color. If the presence of green color is found, it shows forest region. Then the occupation is generally is forestry, which is which includes lumbering. It means cut and prepare forest timber for transport and sale, furniture making or carpentry. If open scrub is written near the settlement areas, then sheep rearing is an important occupation. So what is the meaning of open scrub? So open scrub is a desert or semi-desert region. So that is open scrub. Presence of black circles. The presence of black circles show the main occupation to be mining. Settlement near rivers or beside the rivers. When the settlement is near rivers, then fishing may be an important occupation of the people. So settlement near the rivers or beside the rivers, then the occupation will be fishing. Stony area. Sheet rock, stony waste, rock outcrop, rock outcrop. In this area, main occupation of the people is stony cutting. I will discuss about sheet rock, stony waste and rock outcrop in the next slide. Sometimes they specify relating to a settlement that tell the occupation which is favorable in this settlement. They name the settlement and you have to tell about it. Then you can look onto this significance. And you have to find out which feature is available most. For an example, settlement beside the river, then the occupation will be fishing. So this is how you have to find out. Now we will know the definition of sheet rock, stony waste and rock outcrop. Here I have written some important definitions of the rock outcrop, sheet rock and stony waste and also sand dunes. What is rock outcrop? Rock outcrop, it is an exposed part of rock. Cultivation is not possible. So for rock outcrop, whenever you will get to see the rock outcrop has written on the topographic map, then you have to understand that in that place cultivation is not possible. So here we can see the symbol of rock outcrop. Next question is that what is meant by sheet rock? So sheet rock it is a mass or slab of rock a portion of which is exposed above the surface shown in white. It is also printed so. So here we can see the symbol of sheet rock. So here also cultivation is not possible. What is stony waste? The land which is mostly covered with the with rock boulders and stones and where cultivation is not possible, it is also shown as white patch on the map. So stony waste, sheet rock and rock outcrop you will be get to see with the white patches on the map. Next question is that what is sand dunes? Sand features shown in brown on the map formed 
due to wind deposition in the desert region okay so that is sand dunes and here we can see the symbol of sand dunes okay that will be brown dots here i have formed a table for easy understanding let's have a look the following list shown the occupations by the evidence of names or by inference of relief features evidences or inference of relief ampli amplification of occupation so forest that will be green patch okay so forest green patch then the occupation will be foresty yellow color or orchards then the occupation will be agriculture pasture and meadows or scrub then the occupation will be cattle grazing or sheep rearing quarries and mines quarrying and mining settlement near main roads and uh, so settlement near main roads so annual fare will be written so then the occupation will be trade mines and factories industrial development park golf courses and rifle ranges recreation and cultural development hope you understood this table so here i have mentioned some meaning of this particular word meadows meadows means uh, a piece of grassland orchards it is an area of land where fruit or nut like cashew almond trees are grown scrub that is brush wood okay a plant community quarries extract stone or other materials from a quarry so that is quarries okay so that is mine actually rifle range a place for practicing shooting with rifles so that is rifle range golf golf is a game we all know so golf is a game played on a large open air course recreation activity done for enjoyment when one is not working like hiking camping cycling etc so i hope this table helps you now we will try to understand about colors and occupation with the help of this question the question is that mention two occupations of the people living in the northern part of the region in the map extract give reasons to support your answer so they are asking for this region so we have to find the answer from this area my first answer is that cultivation the occupation will be cultivation or agriculture why because here we can see the presence of yellow color which denotes the cultivable land or we can say that the agricultural land okay the next answer is collecting forest products because here we can see the presence of green color okay so we can say that green color shows forest region where herbs collection foresty it means collecting forest products cattle or sheep grazing cattle or sheep rearing have been done okay hope you understood how you have to write the answer hope you enjoyed the session see you in the next video thank you